Alright guys, so today we're going to dive in a little deeper with repetition and alternation. Alright guys, so the first thing that I ask you for is a repetition of pattern. So, for mine, I am just going to do a triangle and just continue that triangle. He likes the smell of it. <laughs> it's cherry. <laughs> um, all the way down. Now I have a pattern and I am just repeating the pattern all the way down like so. Now, number two asks for an alternation of colors. So I'm just going to take a green and a blue and I'm going to do green, blue, green, blue. So you're just alternating or switching off the two different colors that you got there. Now, this one says alternation of rounded an angular shape. So rounded would be a circle and then angular would be anything that has a point. So what I am going to do is I am going to make some curved like ovally shapes at the bottom here. And in between all of those rounded shapes, I'm going to put a pointy. Like so. So now I have round, angular, rounded, angular. And I'm just alternating or switching back between the two different types. Now this one asks for an alternation of the dimension, meaning big and small. So for mine, I am going to use my green again, and I'm just going to do, I'm going to make this one my bigger square, and then I'm going to do a tiny square, and then a bigger square. And a tiny square, just like so. Now for this next one, it says to the alternation of position. So if you make a heart, or it could be a triangle too, I'm going to make this heart the right way, and then I'm going to make a heart that's upside down. And then again, make it right side up and then upside down, like so. So that's just alternating the position. You could also do it like if it was facing this way and then facing that way and then facing this way and then facing that way. You could also do it that way as well. And then the last one is inventing your own alternation. So you're just altering, or I guess going plop plop, doing a pattern like that. So it can be anything. And this one is up to you. Do a smiley face. Do an upside down heart. And then do another smiley face. An upside down heart. I think that is my new invention. So I would love to see yours. Now the next part asks you to do an outline of your hand. So let's start with that. Spin this paper so I can outline my hand. And if you struggle with this, you can always ask 
someone to help you. I know sometimes it gets tricky to do the outline of your hand. Even I have some stumbly marks, right? So don't, don't ever feel like you can't ask for help. Always ask someone. Okay, so then on my hand, number two, ask for the fingers to alternate patterns on each finger. So you can do, um, if you want to do stripes, do those stripes again, alternating the color. If you want to alternate the size, you can alternate the size. Um, if you want to do different um, positioning you can do a zigzag that's alternating the position of how the where the line's going because it's going this way or that way and it's alternating that way um, so be creative of what alternation you want to do on each of those and then in the palm here so you can just cap those off wherever your pattern lines, um, pattern stops. Down here, I want you to create your own design. So whether it be some squares and just kind of go like that, make your own pattern. So on the palm, it's just a pattern. You don't have to alternate anything. You can have them go all different directions. All right, guys, good luck on that. And I can't wait to see it.